me again. Gotta tell you this, right? Talk about people destroying your dreams when you're a child. I was always crazy about aeroplanes and and flight and the, the, the technology behind flight and yeah, I just loved it. And uh, I was about 13 or something in school, 13, 14, maybe, maybe even younger, 13, say, let's just average it at 13. And we were in an English class and we had this rather large, <laughs> she was, she was big. Not that that matters really, but she was just being, you know, um, large blonde lady, Mrs. Cochlin, her name was, I think it was. And she was our English teacher. And the one day she decided to ask us uh, what we would like to be in our future lives and what careers we would like to follow. And everybody was putting their hands up and asking, I mean, you know, I want to be an estate agent and I want to be a car salesman and whatever. And I put my hand up and said, I want to be a, an airline pilot. And the teacher herself sort of sniggered and went, yeah, whatever. And that made the rest of the class laugh and left me in a situation after that that was, you know, my head was messed up after that. I thought, why are they laughing at me wanting to be, a, you know, why can't I do that? Because I think I'm capable of doing it. I've, I've read about it, I've looked at things and... I mean, I, if, I, if it was possible now, even though I'm physically incapacitated and, I, you know, my memory wouldn't work to be a pilot. You wouldn't want to be a pilot in my plane now, put it that way. But, you know, if, if I'd have been given some encouragement all those years ago and, and pushed into doing the study and the relevant ways, um, it was an education class, this was, really. Um, maybe today I'd be sitting in a great big mansion you know and tomorrow I'll be jetting off to Jamaica to you know to fly somebody important to some other part of the world and I mean I just <laughs> I'll never ever forgive that woman I'll say that again my lips are stuck together I'll never forgive that woman for doing that she she destroyed a child's dream and she possibly ruined somebody's career. I mean, what, what's the worst thing you can do being a teacher is, is actually laugh at, you know, a, a child's ambition. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'm still a little angry about that. It's, there must be a little part of me that's still pretty angry. But, uh, yeah, so I ended up being artistic instead because my art teacher who was fantastic Mr. Jones was an awesome teacher he used to take the mickey he used to have a laugh with us he acted like a friend he he used to, to he used to lend us cigarettes occasionally but the sad thing about that was my favorite teacher Mr. Jones he goes and dies of lung cancer. He looked like Action Man, by the way. You know, Action Man. With the, and he had a beard, so he looked like the new beardy Action Man. Um, yeah, I miss Mr. Jones. Yeah, he, he nearly got me into um, a very prestigious art school. But then my dad interrupted the whole thing. Not with him, you know, not there and then, but when I told him this news about being able to go to a good art school my dad says no you're gonna go out and you're gonna get a job and you're gonna bring some money and earn a crust for yourself instead of farting around in college which I don't know even then I was disappointed but now I'm just I'm not annoyed with me dad it's just the way he was that's, that's the way things were then but yeah I could have been either an esteemed artist. I could have oh, I could have been a brilliant musician as well. I wasn't encouraged with by any of my parents, any, 
I was like, nine. My, nine mum and dads, no, only joking. Um, I wasn't encouraged by my mum and dad to play music, so I just took it upon myself to learn how to play music, and I did that. Nobody in school encouraged me. I mean, I just generally, on the whole, I feel let down big time by uh, the education system of the 70s stroke 80s to a degree and um, yeah you know I feel cheated I could have I, I mean it's not as if I've not got anywhere now but like I could have been so much more well, I mean I'm not saying I want to change anything now because if, if I if I did ch if, if I could change anything now the whole point would be that I wouldn't have met Shaneza because I wouldn't be in the, you know, wouldn't have been in the situation I was in at the time I was. Um, you know, I wouldn't have my wonderful kitty cats, our wonderful kitty cats, I should say. I wouldn't have my wonderful friends. I mean, the whole dynamic would be completely different. So, in one sense, I'm a winner, but in another sense, I, you know, I have this deep inside regret, anger, not anger. It is anger, yeah. These people ruined what I wanted to do with my life before I had a chance to even think about it. But anyway, has anybody ruined your life? That's what I'd like to know. Has anybody done something that drastic that it's changed the whole course of your life? At a young age, I'm saying. I mean, at any age, actually, thinking about it. At any age. Because uh, I'm just curious. I'm just asking questions. Um hopefully soon Roman Hakim will be here and we'll ask people questions between us and hopefully we'll get some responses um, yeah that's just a quick one I just thought I'd throw on you so if anybody's listening and anybody has any tales to relate I'd uh, really really quite like to hear anybody's response again Take care, people. And here's the god. Colombo. He is my hero. Oh, there's just one more thing. Um, sorry for getting anybody's name. Forgetting? Forgetting? Should we just leave that? I'll leave that bit. Take care, y'all. And uh, speak soon. Uh, Everybody, try and get your Skypes, try and get Skype sorted out so we can talk. I would like that very much. Get in touch, let me know, let's sort it out. And you know who I'm talking to. Okay? End of video. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it is, it is. It's the end of the video. Take care, everyone.